Okay, so right now we have our uh, concrete model, which is um, already done. Then something about adjusting it to the um, analysis. Uh, we have the problem that uh, the mesh is very coarse and it will influence on your result for sure. But uh, let's try to make a small analysis how it's influencing. I will just uh, find Excel and I will try to show you how it's uh, influencing on the results. Um, but uh, in robot, uh, which I will just turn off the cross sections, it's okay. Then uh, how do we course the mesh and how do we operate on the mesh? You can of course uh, try to click on it, right click and there is object properties and then you can find the meshing options. There is also a small uh, button option of the fee mesh generation, and I like to have it here. So uh, then you have the generation of calculation model, and this is exactly the same as you would go to the analysis parameter and go to the structure model uh, ribbon and go to calculations, uh, sorry, to generation of computational model. This is the same as this. So uh, what it, is doing it's uh, not calculating the model but it's imp uh, implying it's um, running the all of the pre-processing uh, of the model so if we will change the mesh for example from element size one meter but uh, i would do it uh, globally if i will not um, check any of the panels when i click here i will operate on all of the panels so when i change it here from one meter which was by default to 0 0.5 all of the mesh should dance um, two times so if i click uh, okay, then nothing has changed because I didn't order uh, the model to recalculate the mesh. If I click the generation of calculation model, it will be recal uh, remodeling the, the, the mesh. Why I am doing it? But because I could also click the calculation all of the model and it would uh, have the same effect. But then the whole model all the load cases will be recalculated. So we'll, if we have many of them, it will just take like five minutes, six minutes to recalculate the model. And we just want to change the mesh. So it's just not the best solution. So um, especially with the big models, which can calculate for several hours. Uh, if you want to operate on the mesh, just uh, remember, you can go for the generation of calculation model without running the fee analysis. But uh, you still see on the bottom that uh, the result FEM uh, are outdated. So you have to remember that uh, you didn't, uh, you, you cannot change right now the forces and so on because the mesh, uh, the, the whole model wasn't um, uh, wasn't uh, wasn't uh, was not updated. Okay, uh, then we have the mesh, but it's still a little bit too dense. Uh, uh, not too dense, but let's check the results. Let's run the calculation. And for example, right now I don't have the automatic combination, but let's uh, check for the um, wind, for example, and let's go for the results, um, result maps, and let's check uh, the stresses, um, maybe the principal one, uh, on the first direction. If we go apply, the stresses should appear, and uh, I will change just to wind and uh, we see that uh, we have 0 0.08 uh, megapascal. It's a little bit small number. I would like to have a little bit bigger. Maybe I will just go for the DL2 or just the simple cases. No, anyway, uh, 0, 0 0.8 will be the, the smallest, so I will just make a bigger precision of it. Um, so go for the tools, job preferences, go for the forces, uh, stresses, and increase one number.
and then I have 0 0.082. When I go for the Excel and uh, just open a blank one and uh, say that uh, 0 uh, 0.082, uh, it's the stress. This is, uh, we will go for the number of elements. Uh, of uh, elements. Oh, and uh, how to check number of the elements uh, if i go for the running calculation we we see that we have uh, 1179 so i just 1179 and the stress is like the stress one and the principal one and um did I write it correctly? Yes, it's correctly. Then uh, what will happen if I mesh it a little bit uh, more? If I click apply, I will see the mesh. And you already know that uh, this, um, if I go with description, uh, you will see that these numbers are uh, looking pretty the same, but the numbers in the corners of the of the um, of the columns are the biggest one. So what we should do, uh, we should just uh, refine the mesh on the corners. If I go one more time for the structure uh, structure model and go for the geometry and close this one click uh, like that uh, we would like to course the mesh only on the corners here 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 and here and here and here how to do it and uh, the easiest way is just to do like that uh, i am marking with the shift uh, turn on with the shift uh, keyboard button um, and I will be now refining the mesh only on the corners because in the middle of the slabs, as I show you, the, there is nothing um, not maybe important because it's important, but nothing uh, sensational happening. And here you have the mesh refinement. And uh, here you see how it's working. It's refining, doubling it. Uh, we could try to tripling, or we could uh, go for the simple. But I recommend you to stay with the rect rectangular finite elements as long as possible. They are much more more predictable, and they are not so stiff as the triangle one. They also are calculating much faster. So if you go to the double right now and click apply, he is saying that it will influence the results. And you see that he just created a refined in the corners. It's really nice. And you will see in the 3D that I was operating on all of the uh, slabs. So it's OK. Right now, uh, let's check the result, uh, results. Go for the calculation of the model. And we see that we have 3147. So I go right now. And I have three 147 elements and let's uh, go for the stresses. Uh, let's go for the results and uh, result maps and go for the stresses one and click apply. And uh, we see that we have uh, right now 1.165. And uh, this number let's put it to our calculation 165 let's try to make a uh, more refined of the mesh in the net in the on some web pages forums you will find the suggestion that you should have at least um one element inside of your column uh, cross section so uh, but this is just a suggestion you have to uh, make 
some models you have to get some experience and you will say that it's not always uh, so important it's important when you have really big uh, uh, concentration then you have to really refine the mesh but uh, always it's good to have a really nice mesh but uh, with the big models you have to you probably understand even right now when you are starting the calculation that it's slower and slower and uh, the more refined mesh will be the calculation of the model will be uh, slower so one more time now let's refine the mesh let's uh, click uh, here and let's just uh, go for the structural model geometry good and then i will one more time refine but uh, only on the smallest um, uh, rectangles which are finite elements which are uh, in the close to the cones okay like that and one more time i will refine the mesh by doubling click ok yes and you see that we have right now pretty dense uh, mesh i will turn on the section shape uh, it's not exactly inside of the cross section but uh, let it stay like that let's uh, yeah or maybe we will just dense it uh, here like uh, in the really really close to the columns okay and let's refine it okay right now we have at least one finite element inside the cross section of the, um, the column and let's uh, calculate it now you see how much longer uh, it's taking the solver to to get the solution um, the mesh it's pretty nice uh, let's see how the uh, maps are looking and uh, let's um, see yeah you see that uh, <laughs> the number it's bigger and bigger let's um, Oh, sorry, I forget to check uh, what is the number of the elements. It's uh, 7830. So we have 7830. And number of the, of the stars is 0665. I will just check it. 667. Um, okay. um, yeah. Uh, so you see that there is a huge difference but as you know uh, I was showing it also on the uh, lesson this uh, this numbers uh, they are only in the corners only in the really really um, concentration of the forces we can a little bit uh, fight with this by clicking reduction of forces above columns and walls if we click on it and click apply we see that it's significantly smaller number and it's 0 0.64 because uh, before there was not so many finite elements uh, inside uh, of the uh, cross section of the column uh, I will just do like maybe this because uh, then this number sh uh, should be more relevant to check and we see that uh, yeah uh, 
if you are curious, you should do also this uh, comparison of the reduction on the more uh, coarse mesh, and I really recommend you to do that and compare the the the, the, the stresses for the with the reduction. So if I Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. 